Good. Good. Dan. Good. Where, where are we? I, I don't know. Where are we and what happened to us? I... I feel awful. How did we get here? Where even is here? What is here? I don't know. Oh god, is there a note on the ground over there? Uh, it looks like it says to go through a door. A door? Well, there is a door over there. Yeah, it seems like a thing. I feel... It's the only thing we can do. And I feel really... I think yeah. Max did something. Yeah, this is probably film figures related. I... It's his fault. Usually. Where do these stairs go, anyway? They go down. Thanks. You know what this reminds me of? Aside from Ghostbusters? Yes, aside from Ghostbusters. Reminds me of the scene in Jacob's Ladder, where he's like on the gurney. How do these stairs remind you of the gurney? Man, I don't know. They just do, okay? Hey, is that another note? Uh, yes. It is another note. You are on the right track. Oh, well, that's good. Of course, yeah. Well, we are on, that have to be on the right track. We're going downstairs. That's why it reminds me of Jacob's Ladder. We're going to hell. Okay. Uh, what? What? That, that's fine? What do you mean? It's probably Max's fault. Do you see anything? Yeah, I found the only pair of night vision goggles. Oh, wow, you can see... Oh. Yeah, there you go. Should we, like, hold on to each other so we don't get separated? Uh, no, I can still hear you. What happened? I think I tripped on a note. You tripped on a note. Yeah, but I can't tell what it says. Can you help me get up? No, I can't see you. We're in hell. We're in hell. Yeah, well, I don't like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I feel like this, I don't know. We were, we were at Max's, right? We were talking about the new film fakers? Uh -huh. I thought so, but now I don't know where we are at all. I missed the stairs. Um, I... Well, I just hit something. Hang on. It's got a knob. Oh, good. More stairs. I'm going back to the darkness. No, wait. I can finally read the note. It says, we've almost reached it. That's really weird. Like, the scene in Jacob's Ladder level weird. Oh, good. I'm so glad that it's weird like that, because that was awesome. Ugh. I feel like we had a really funny idea for Film Fakers, but now I can't remember it. Yeah, we've totally been, like, killing it with Film Fakers lately. So, um, you know, it's we've worked really hard, and it's gotten really better. That's really good. Yeah, and it definitely has, but, you know, now we may be dead. Yeah, but you can really only appreciate something after it's gone, so that's fine. It's true. Ah! I... Yeah, I'm with you. You guys have a rough five minutes? I just have to go finish typing these pages. I think someone owes us an apology. Well, all right, so I was a little harsh about the whole thing. 
But, you know, that's why I went and retyped the pages. You guys' idea was good. So I brought in my ideas. I think it's all going to work out pretty well. So did you have, like, a pitch for this episode of Film Fakers, or...? Yeah, so we're going to do the Jacob's Ladder thing. Okay. But I think a good idea would be if we do the whole he goes to hell to go to heaven thing, you got to, you know, release your demon so you can... Not Scientology, it's a little different. That whole thing that's trying to talk about. So, like, what he and I just went through to get here. He drove over here. No, the room and the stairs and the room and the stairs and the notes. That wasn't you? We had an argument. And I went and typed this up. And then and we were in back. a room, right? You... After the argument. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had, there were stairs. There were notes. Then there was a room just pitch dark and I tripped over a note. I, honestly, I think it'd make a pretty good episode of Film Fakers. Did he snore another eight ball? I think it'd make a pretty good episode of Film Fakers, though. It's a nice allegory for, like, you know, we had to go through hell to get to here, which is Film Fakers. Might be onto something. Let's give it a shot. So the way he sees it, if you're frightened of dying and, and you're holding on, you'll see devils tearing your life away. But... If you've made your peace, then the devils are really angels freeing you from the earth. It's just a matter of how you look at it, that's all.